Have you ever wondered how a single volcanic eruption can wipe out almost all life on Earth? Volcanoes, they're more than just mountains that spew molten rock. They are nature's ticking time bombs capable of unleashing an unseen fury that can change the face of our planet. Throughout Earth's history, these fiery giants have had a profound impact, shaping landscapes, influencing climate, and even affecting the course of life itself. Now imagine a volcanic eruption so massive, so catastrophic, that it wipes out 95% of all life on Earth. Sounds like a plot straight out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But this isn't fiction. This is a chilling chapter from our planet's past. Around 252 million years ago, our Earth experienced an event of such magnitude. Known as the Permian-Triassic Extinction Event, or more ominously, the Great Dying. It was the most severe extinction event in Earth's history. The culprit? A series of volcanic eruptions in what is now Siberia. These weren't your typical eruptions. They were a relentless, fiery onslaught that lasted for thousands of years, spewing enough lava to cover an area the size of the United States. The volcanic activity was so intense, so prolonged, that it led to a massive release of greenhouse gases, triggering climatic changes that proved disastrous for life on Earth. The scale of these eruptions and their impact is almost incomprehensible. They didn't just reshape the landscape, they reshaped life itself, obliterating almost all of it in a geological blink of an eye. In the face of such overwhelming destruction, one can't help but marvel at the power of nature and the fragile balance that sustains life on our planet. But remember, every end also marks a new beginning. Now let's delve into the aftermath. A time when Earth almost turned into a desolate wasteland. An eruption of such magnitude doesn't just end with lava flow. It marks the beginning of a cascade of catastrophic events, each more destructive than the last. The aftermath of this volcanic eruption was a testament to this grim reality. Post-eruption, the Earth was plunged into a prolonged period of darkness, known as volcanic winter. The ash and sulfur dioxide expelled into the atmosphere created a veil that blocked out the sun. This led to a sudden and severe drop in global temperatures, causing the Earth to freeze over. The once thriving landscapes turned into barren icy wastelands. Then came the acid rain. The sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere combined with water, forming sulfuric acid droplets. When it rained, these droplets fell to the earth, poisoning the waters and soils. The intensity of this acid rain was such that it was capable of corroding even the toughest of rocks. The impact on life forms was catastrophic. The severe climatic changes and the toxic environment made survival a Herculean task. The sudden drop in biodiversity was stark. 95% of life on Earth was wiped out, leaving only the most resilient species behind. The lush forests that once teemed with life were replaced by icy deserts. The melodious songs of birds were replaced by the eerie silence of extinction. The vibrant colors of flowering plants faded into the monotonous white of snow and ice. The Earth was a shell of its former self, its vibrancy and diversity replaced by desolation and uniformity. The world as it was known had changed in unimaginable ways. The once flourishing ecosystems were now graveyards of the past, yet in the face of such adversity, life clung on. Some species adapted, evolved and survived. These survivors laid the foundation for the resurgence of life on Earth. They were a testament to the indomitable spirit of life and the resilience of nature. The Earth was transformed, and life as it was known had been almost completely extinguished. But nature is resilient. Despite the odds, life found a way, and it would continue to do so, for as long as the Earth existed. In the face of such calamity, survival becomes a challenging game. As the aftermath of the volcanic eruption cleared, the once thriving biosphere was transformed into a battleground for survival. The select species that survived the initial catastrophe found themselves in a world starkly different from the one they knew. The air was thick with volcanic ash, blocking out the sun and plunging the planet into a years-long winter. The surviving creatures were confronted with a harsh new reality. The lush vegetation that once painted our planet green had withered away, replaced by barren lands. Food sources dwindled. The once clear and teeming oceans turned acidic threatening the survival of marine life. But life, as we know it, is resilient. The few remaining species had to adapt to these harsh conditions or face the grim prospect of extinction. Natural selection, the great sculptor of life, 
assumed a pivotal role during this period. Species that could tolerate the cold and scarcity of food had a survival advantage. Some evolved to become smaller and more energy efficient. Others developed novel ways to find sustenance in a world where the traditional food chains had been broken. The struggle was real and every day was a fight for survival. Marine life too was not spared. Those that could survive in the increasingly acidic oceans thrived while others perished. Over time, these survivors gave birth to a new generation of species, each more resilient than the last. In the grand theater of life, these survivors were the unsung heroes. Their struggle for survival laid the groundwork for the resurgence of life on our planet. They were the pioneers in a world reborn from ashes, the torchbearers of life in a seemingly lifeless world. In the midst of such adversity, life found a way but the road to recovery was long and arduous. When life hits rock bottom, the only way is up. So it was for our planet after the catastrophic volcanic eruption that obliterated 95% of life on Earth. The road to recovery was not a short one, nor was it easy. It was a journey measured in millions of years, a testament to the tenacity and resilience of life itself. In the wake of such devastation, the earth was a barren wasteland, but even in this desolate scene, the seeds of resurgence were sown. The first signs of recovery came with the emergence of new species, life forms that were hardy and adaptable, capable of surviving in a drastically altered environment. These pioneers were the harbingers of a new era, the first steps on the long road to recovery. As time marched on, the planet slowly but surely began to heal. With each passing era, biodiversity began to increase. New species evolved, each more complex and diverse than the last. The world was being reborn, rising like a phoenix from the ashes of its own destruction. Yet this was not just a story of recovery but of evolution. This catastrophic event was a crucible, a trial by fire that led to the evolution of life as we know it today. It was this event that set the stage for the emergence of mammals, and eventually the rise of humanity. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? Our very existence, the diversity and complexity of life we see around us, all born out of a period of unimaginable destruction. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of life, its ability to adapt, to overcome and to thrive in the face of adversity. From the ashes of destruction, life rose again, more diverse and resilient than ever. It's a story of hope, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always the promise of a new dawn. Even though this event occurred millions of years ago, its impact is still felt today. The volcanic eruption that wiped out 95% of life on Earth has left an indelible mark on our planet and continues to influence our understanding of natural disasters today. This event serves as a stark reminder of nature's fury and underscores the delicate balance upon which life teeters. Today, the echoes of this colossal eruption reverberate through time, shaping our understanding of the Earth's volatile nature. The magnitude of this event has given us a glimpse into the potential destructive power of volcanic eruptions, reshaping our perspective on the forces that lie beneath the Earth's crust. What's more, it has taught us how interconnected life is on our planet. The eruption didn't just impact the immediate vicinity, but it triggered a chain reaction that affected the entire biosphere. This event emphasizes the need for a holistic approach to understanding our environment, as changes in one part can have far-reaching effects. This catastrophic event also underlines the importance of studying past disasters to predict and prepare for future calamities. By piecing together the clues left behind, scientists can better understand the conditions that led to the eruption and the subsequent mass extinction. This invaluable knowledge can help us develop strategies to mitigate the impact of similar events in the future. Perhaps one of the most profound impacts of this event is the realization of life's resilience. Despite the near-complete eradication of life, our planet managed to recover and thrive. This testament to life's tenacity serves as a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. As we look back at this catastrophic event, we are reminded of the power of nature and the resilience of life. It's a story of destruction, survival and recovery.